Hey guys, welcome back. I have a project to share for you guys today. Um, I've been working on some odds and ends of things. Like, I'm doing journals, I'm doing Christmas ornaments, I'm doing fall, I'm doing Halloween. I just can't stay put um, on the craft. I'm getting bored too quick. So, I did a Halloween little DIY with everything Dollar Tree I had to look except the little spiders so here is my DIY now this all come from the Dollar Tree like the little skeletons the actually saying this is our family gathers here so what are we talking about are we talking about the skeleton family are we talking about the spider family who knows you let me know down below so Yep, all it is is this was gray. I ended up putting some texture on it with some um, texture paste. Cut some little skeletons and added little baby, little itty bitty baby spatters from uh, Walmart I, I had a few years ago. And then just made kind of like a spider web effect with the glue. Now at night, it does light up. It's just a faint light up. It's not, like, I don't even know if I could even show you because it is so faint. Like, you can see it here. It's just very faint um, type of thing. And I hang it down the hallway, down our hallway, but I just thought it was too gory, gory. And I was going to put blood and everything on it, that's funny but I opted not to thinking more family appropriate it's still kind of spooky but then um, that's all it is okay because I, I have that box there so let's put that there all right the next thing I did so I went Halloween right um, with that one and then I decided to use a witch's hat from the Dollar Tree um, I could not find the circle I wanted from the Dollar Tree but the circle actually came from Walmart, cost me 97 cents. So I used the witch's hat from the Dollar Tree. This circle you can get at Walmart for um, under a buck. And here's what I did. I did a gnome. Um, all the rest of this stuff, except this, which I'll tell you in a minute what this is. Um, and the hair. The hair I got when it was on clearance. Um, but yeah, this comes from the Dollar Tree. The thing, thankful, is one of the ones from the Dollar Tree. I just went ahead and cut it so it would fit like I wanted it to. And then, okay, so you see the nose. See how big that nose is? I was trying to figure out what to use for the nose. This right here, I made my husband go... It is a tablespoon and I cut it off and put craft paper on it so I had a nose but I think he turned out cute as heck um, and honestly he could just be out all fall and be very very cute so but that's what thing I've been working on I can cut that off though I don't need that like that mm extra stuff you don't need um but yeah this circle if you ever need a circle that you can't find with Dollar Tree Walmart does carry little circles like that and I was very shocked it was under a buck but the, these are my two project shares I know totally different totally different realm everything else this is how my head works I have to work on whatever my head wants me to work on and that's just how it is um, I've gotten several of, you know, like, like I said before, these done. Um, I think I got six or seven, but I had this in my little stash bin and I'm like, you know what? That needs to get done. And then this needs to get done. And now we have another project to do for Zach for school. So if I can figure out how to do it and how to help him. I will be showing you that soon. 
I have a couple more videos, like I said before. I did have a Happy Meal video, but it got deleted somehow off my phone. So, I'm going to see if I can find um, the Happy Meal itself. If not, I will have to give a shout out um, <laughs> when I can. Um, yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what happened, so. Okay, well that's all I have for you guys. I hope you stay safe and have a great day. Bye for now.